working on the setup for my sister's birthday party. It's going to be at the Santa Monica Pier. As you can see, these are the gifts. Tiny gumbo machine, as you can see here. And welcome to my mother's video. And make sure you subscribe. As Lincoln said, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really excited to share this video with you that shows me preparing for Laya's birthday party. This video kind of goes over all of the preparation and includes some tips for party planning for busy moms, work at home moms in particular. And I just am really excited to also reveal what the outcome was of the party and for you to see how the party went. So this has been a couple weeks in the making. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. I'm really excited today because I'm going to share three quick tips about planning a birthday party. So I am planning my daughter's birthday party. I have planned her party every year. She's turning 11 and I also plan my son's birthday party. They're usually pretty big parties. So I've developed an expertise. I just wanna share three tips for busy, work at home moms or working moms, any kind of mompreneur to help the party planning flow more smoothly. So my first piece of advice is to pick your theme as early as possible. For the first 10 years of my daughter's life, we had the idea that we were going to celebrate her birthday party in the theme of a different country every year. Oftentimes by the time we were finishing one party, we already had in mind what the party would be for the next year. This year, we're not doing a country themed party anymore. I told her it was something that we would only do through her 10th birthday, but we planned pretty early what the theme was going to be for her birthday party. The main reason why I say it's important to pick the theme kind of early is so that you can take advantage of the sales. When you already have in mind what the color scheme is gonna be, what the theme is gonna be, you will find that when you're out shopping or when you're even online shopping, you'll see things that fall into place with a the theme at a great price. And so you can start shopping for the birthday party really early. I love a sale. I love a sale. Everything that I'm purchasing over the months leading up to the party, I try to keep in one clear Tupperware bin in our garage. And as the party approaches, I just pull that bin out, bring it upstairs and assess what I have. I see if there's anything else that I need to buy. But what's great is I don't feel like I'm starting from behind. I feel like I'm starting way ahead because I have so many things already on theme that I've already purchased for the party. Another great hack is something that you might not think about. If you're hosting the party at your own home in particular, I would say start the decorating 10 to 14 days early, depending on your schedule, 10 to 14 days. I know that seems outrageous two weeks early, but actually it makes a ton of sense and it makes your life so much easier. Laya's birthday is in February, which is the same time as the State Cup Soccer Championship. So weekend after weekend, we are basically traveling for as long as we stay in the tournament. There's very little time to take advantage of on the weekends. Obviously during the week, I'm homeschooling and also working. So there's limited time to get done all of the decorating. 
The other thing that's a total disaster is if you wait till the last minute and you're basically up all night trying to put together decorations, it just doesn't work and it kind of kills the vibe for the party by the time it's time to start the party. So I really recommend that you start this uh, decorating early. If you're not having the party at your own home, I would suggest that you start putting together the decorations early. That's something else that I've done. Oftentimes we have really big parties. We hold them off site at another venue. We have a couple of community locations here in our neighborhood, or we've used the park often because historically I've liked for Lia to be able to invite her friends and for her friends' siblings to be able to come. So we've had really big parties, up to 80 people before. Uh, but even if the party was going to be off site, I wanted to make sure that I started working on putting the decorations together, assembling things so that I wouldn't be crazed at the last minute trying to do all of those things. It would really be more of an installation than an assembly. An unexpected bonus to starting your decorating early is that it really feels really festive and fun in your house for the days leading up to the party. It's something that I didn't anticipate when I first started doing it, but it's kind of nice. It creates greater anticipation and more of a celebratory spirit within our household before the party even starts. The final tip, it seems obvious, but it's not always so obvious, enlist help. I just posted a video recently about the benefits of hiring a personal assistant. I use my personal assistant to help me in, in particular with party planning for my kids because like I said, the scale is usually pretty big for these events. So I definitely like to enlist help. Since I've started early, I also can get my kids to help where appropriate with the assembly of the decorations. And then most importantly, I can get my husband to help on things when I start early. I give him the honeydews and the urgency is a little bit alleviated. It's not like, hey, I need you to do this list of things today, or I need you to do this list of things by tomorrow. I'm like, we've got a two week time period, babe. I need these things done. So that is one way that I get help in a way that doesn't really stress us. The key to managing cost is really shopping around, unfortunately. I'm not a person who loves to be out running all around to 50 different locations shopping, but when I start early, I get the opportunity to peruse different places and it doesn't feel, again, as stressful and it's not wasting so much time as I'm leading up to the event. I'm tempering Lions event against coaching uh, the soccer team this year, against preparing for a speaking engagement that I have coming up for International Women's Day, and against another speaking engagement that I have coming up in April at Yale. So I have many different balls in the air. So I'm glad that I've already started the planning and I've already started the decorating, even though we're about 10 days out from the party. All right, Lincoln, you got them all laid out? Mm -hmm. We are going to put the sticks on them after we have a snack, okay? Okay. Okay, so we are now just two days out from the party. I'm just making myself some tea. I did some uh, 
running around this morning, a few errands, partially due to, or partially for the party. I just love this little mug that my family got me at Disneyland. We have been annual pass holders for years and years. The prices have gone up so much that I'm trying to stay strong and not renew this year, but I don't know. We just love Disneyland, always wears us down. But I just love this. And I'm just trying this tea with this, these hibiscus leaves that Kofi brought home the other day. So it looks amazing. And I might have one of these pearl sugar cookies too, so I can give myself a little kick in the pants to finish doing the balloon arch around the step and repeat. I got Kofi to put up the step and repeat. Um, you know, I gave him that honeydew and I heard him this morning. I asked if he could do it by today and I heard him this morning, early in the morning, putting that together. So here we go. Oh, and Jesus, I'm working on this. So I have just a little bit of a ways to go. It doesn't seem like that much, but it takes a lot of breath. <laughs> I'll be done soon. So the party has already started. I'm really, really excited about the way everything turned out. I could not be happier. Uh, so thankful for the help that I got from Vanessa, my assistant. The girls are here. My, as you can hear, the girls are here. My mother-in-law is already here. We're just getting ready to feed them. Kofi's gonna grill, and then we are going to take them up to the pier. So should be a lot of fun. How's it going? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Flame broiled. Flame, clearly, it's flame broiled. Here we go. Whoa. Please. Try the outside. Tell them, don't try this at home. After cake, we loaded everyone into the van. The girls were excited and we headed up to the pier on the freeway, but we actually unfortunately witnessed a motorcycle accident where a guy lost control of his bike. The bike flipped over several times, as did he. We were the first responders who had to call 911 and wait for him, but fortunately it was mostly broken bones in his arms and he's gonna be okay.